A big diplomatic breakthrough today for Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas. The UN General Assembly has overwhelmingly approved his bid to elevate the Palestinian territories to non-member observer state and implicit recognition of Palestinian statehood. At least 130 countries publicly lined up behind the resolution, though it did face strong opposition from Israel and the United States, which threatened to punish the Palestinian Authority by withholding funds. Canada, too, is opposed. Our foreign affairs minister saying it will only harden positions and not advance the cause of peace. Eric Sorensen is at the United Nations in New York tonight. Eric? Donna, it is not statehood, but it is an important step towards statehood for the Palestinian people. Most countries in the world here at the UN support this step. A few, notably the US, Israel and Canada, do not. There was a prolonged ovation in the United Nations General Assembly for Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas, the Canadian delegation among the few who did not applaud. The UN, for the first time in an historic vote, granting Palestine non-member observer status, a step towards recognizing statehood. Abbas made a two-pronged appeal for Palestinian statehood, condemning Israel while calling for UN recognition for the Palestinian people. World to be reminded that there is an occupation that must come to an end and that there are a people that must be liberated. Uh, we came to affirm the legitimacy of a state that must now achieve its independence, and that is Palestine. Israel's representative vehemently opposed granting the Palestinian status before peace and security are assured in the Middle East. The Palestinians must recognize the Jewish state, and they must be prepared to end the conflict with Israel once and for all. Canada, under the Harper government, has emerged as one of Israel's staunchest allies, opposing the new status for the Palestinians. But we cannot support an initiative that we are firmly convinced will undermine the objective of reaching a comprehensive, lasting and just settlement for both sides. It is for these reasons that Canada is voting against this resolution. Canada's opposition parties say, however, the Harper government is jeopardizing Canada's historic role as a peace broker. We think that in the current world situation that anyone who is concerned about what we see in the Middle East should be using all of their ability, their experience, to work for peace. The change will not soon lead to full statehood within the United Nations. That would require approval by the Security Council. And the United States says it will veto such a move until a peace deal is negotiated between Israel and the Palestinians. One other dynamic, the recent conflict in Israel and Gaza elevated Hamas amongst the Palestinian people. This vote today should re-elevate Mahmoud Abbas, and he is seen as the moderate force amongst the Palestinians in the peace process. Donna? All right, Eric Sorensen in New York tonight. Thank you.